Hi, thank you so much for joining me. Um, in this video se segment, I'm going to be doing an introduction to ways in which we as chemists describe heat changes. Now, at this introductory level, we are always going to be looking at constant pressure systems. And if we have a constant pressure, our heat at a constant pressure is equal to what we call delta H, and that is the symbol for the enthalpy of the system. Okay. Now, if we have a constant volume system, we can't equate those two. It's only because we are at a constant pressure. Now, often you'll see a little circle there. That little circle means that we are under standard ambient temperature and pressure. So ambient means um, 25 degrees Celsius and a pressure of 1 atm or the equivalent. All right. Now, if my enthalpy is positive for a process, remember delta means change, that means we have an endothermic process. So heat is absorbed by whatever process, that process is defined as the system. We as a scientist define our system. It may be that point where bonds are being broken in form. So the heat has to be absorbed from somewhere, and that heat is going to come from the surroundings. So my surroundings are sending heat into my system, and so my system will increase in temperature, the surroundings will decrease in temperature, and your hands are part of the surroundings. So your hand would feel cold. Now, if heat is overall released by the system, we have an exothermic process. Heat is lost or released. In this case, the system is sending heat into the surroundings, which may be bulk water, it could be the beaker, it could be your hand. So your surroundings will increase in temperature, aka your hand, and your system will is losing that heat. Okay? It's a negative enthalpy change. Let's look at that pictorially. Okay, this is pretty much what I just said before, but we have a system here in the circle. The solution around it, this actually happens to be a constant volume process. Okay, so heat's leaving the system and going into the surroundings. This thermometer is part of the surroundings, so the temperature is going to increase of the surroundings. In this case, we have some sort of defined system. It could be actually a separate own little container, or it could be just that more abstract place where bonds are being broken and formed. And in this case, heat is being sucked in from the surroundings in order to get those bonds to break in, in, in the first place. And so in this case, the surroundings are losing. So the temperature, we would measure a temperature decrease in that case. So let's see how we can summarize some of the things we've talked about. Verbally, if it's endothermic, we say temp energy is absorbed. The temperature of the surroundings would decrease. So if it was a word equation, these are terms that you would be looking for. Symbolically, we say the enthalpy or the heat change is positive. Okay. In a reaction, since it's required, it becomes on the reactant side of the arrow, not the product side. So it would be energy plus A plus B yields C plus D. Graphically, if it is 
ex endothermic products that are at a higher potential energy than my reactants. Heat is going in for that positive delta H. Now, if we were talking about exothermic, we would say energy is released by my defined system. The temperature of the surroundings increases my enthalpy change or my heat change at constant pressure is negative since it is produced or released in the process the heat would go on the product side okay? now if I did it graphically energy is released so the products are at a lower potential energy than my reactants. So this is just a potential energy diagram. Later on, you might see this modified with a minimum energy requirement. We're looking at kind of the beginning of building that at just the relative energy between reactants and products. So you see all the different ways we can communicate two seemingly simple terms, endothermic and exothermic. So that means you want to be circling terms. You want to be looking for key things like the word decreased, like signs positive and so forth. And you will be successful when you talk about um, energy in chemistry. Thanks for joining me.